Today I'm going to show you how to properly pressure test your coolant system. By pressure testing your coolant system, you'll be able to find any internal or external leak. Now this tractor runs, but there's a problem with her. Let's take a look at the oil. This is what we call a milkshake oil and coolant mixed together. This is not good. This tells us we likely have an internal coolant leak. So how can coolant get mixed with your engine oil? Really there's only two ways. One, you got a crack in your head, or two, you blew a head gasket. Either way, we're gonna have to pressure test this coolant system to prove that there is a leak. The device we're going to use to pressure test the coolant system in this tractor is the ABN Cooling System Tester. This kit comes with a hand pump, a test gauge, your primary port you're going to test the radiator. It comes with two different size adapters as well as a radiator cap testing adapter. You can purchase this kit for under $100 on Amazon. And I'll leave the link in the description below. Now, you're going to find cheaper models out there, but unfortunately, you're just not going to get as good quality. I think this is a good, happy medium in the testing kit, and that's why I'm recommending it. Now, before we look at a bad system, let's look at a good system. So I'm going to use the John Deere as our test. So let's take the radiator cap off. Again, you want to check this with the engine cold. So with the radiator cap off, now I'm gonna use the pump and the test port. This test port is the primary port you're gonna use in just about all applications, but like I said, the kit comes with a couple different adapters. So first thing you're gonna do is I like to preload this on. So you can see you have this little cam. So you preload it in to crank the spring up. So when I rotate it, see how it pushes it down. I'm gonna rotate this again and it cranks it up. Just makes it easier for when you're installing it. You rotate this until it stops, and now I'm gonna turn this off the cam, and now it applies a lot of pressure. So now I have a good, tight connection. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna manually pump this up. We're gonna see this gauge rise, and I'm gonna to go to the green, which is seven PSI, fairly typical for this tractor. And it should stick within the green. So I went right to the top part of the green there. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can. But anyway, you can see it's it's sitting there and we can let it sit there all day long. It's gonna stay right there, all right? So that tells us that we have a good, healthy, tight radiator system. So to depressurize this, again, I'm gonna turn this counterclockwise and you can hear the system depressurized and now it's safe to remove it. So let's see what a bad system looks like. So let's test the coolant system on this tractor. So again, I'm gonna preload this, make it easier to install. Crank it all the way till it stops. I'm gonna turn the cam. Now I have positive pressure in here. And again, I'm gonna start pumping this thing up and we're gonna get some pressure in it. And I'm getting, and I'm building pressure in this thing, but it's leaking very quickly. Now, before I was able to get to the green on the John Deere real quickly, and it held there. I'm not even not even able to get to the green here. And if you can see, it just leaks right down right away. This just tells me we have a really big leak on our hands. Another thing that's nice about this kit is you can test your radiator cap as well. So with this adapter, this allows you to test to make sure that your radiator cap is lifting at the proper PSI. So let's install it and to try it. Cap is on. Adapter. Preload it just like we've been doing. Let's 
it's installed, release the preload, and good. Now we got a nice tight chamber here. So I'm going to pressurize this thing up and see how it does. Look at that. Very tight. So this cap is set to lift at 15 PSI. So when I pressurize it more than 15, see how it drops back down and then it stays right there? It's exactly how it should act. So that tells me that the radiator cap on this one is working good. Now that we've confirmed that this tractor has a coolant system leak within the engine, we have to start tearing down the top end of the motor. I hope you enjoyed learning about how to properly pressure test the cooling system in your car, tractor, or any piece of equipment that you own. See you next time.